Most people still believe that eating meat causes cancer. Most people still believe that fat, saturated fat, cholesterol is bad for you. We're talking myths, blatant lies that are the opposite of reality that have been perpetuated for 50 years now. And that even with these pockets of information available and lots and lots of people talking about them, we're still like a tiny percentage of the population. And therefore most people, it's not even their purview. This is what has me worried about 2020. People think that masks are this, social distancing is this, locking down the economy is just. They think all these things. Although I can literally send you data today, right now, that shows how it's all complete malarkey. What's gonna happen in 2021 when these same beliefs that people are not gonna change how they believe, they're gonna kinda just go with the flow and as less people are wearing masks and it goes back to like normal, they're not gonna change what they did before. They're gonna even potentially think that it was the right thing to do. So then 2021, what's going to happen? Flu season again. There's 50 to 100 coronaviruses a year that are out there in the ether. Maybe even more than that. We, we can't even identify most of them. What's going to happen when one of these gets picked up, gets, gets a headline, gets a paper written about it, and then gets weaponized as an idea to then again print trillions of fake dollars, shut down inessential businesses, and then prop up big businesses, bail out basically, which is exactly what's going on right now. The Fed's about to buy the stocks. Never in history has it done that. This is what has me the most worried. Then we're going to be getting into things like vaccine passports and other things like that. They're already talking about quarantine children and newborns away from parents because either the parents don't want to get tested or because they got tested and had COVID. Like, it's unbelievable what's going on at this point. Like, I, I can't just not talk about it. Every single day of my life, it's, it's, if it's a new thing. People are not going to change their mind. They're, it's just very, very unlikely that even with mountains and mountains and mountains of data that comes out, and people talking about it more and more, more YouTube videos, more people going on the news that, that are challenging the narrative, it's still very unlikely to change the masses' perception. And that is what has me afraid for the future of this country because you've already seen what the masses will allow happen. Patriot Act, war and terror, you know, printing fake dollars all the time, bailing out big business. AIG that got bailed out, they were giving millions of dollars to executives after, with, with bailout money. Nobody said anything, did anything. Nobody got in trouble. Nobody got arrested. What world are we living in at this point? The apathy of the typical citizen is what allowed slavery to thrive for as long as it did. Just think about that a second. Go back into the history books. Most people were probably like, oh, I can't do anything about it. Or they had these bad ideas from the elite about how some people were better than others and therefore some people could be personal property of somebody else. These were ideas that were thrown out there to make it so that the average person would just kind of like maybe shrug their shoulder or maybe even agree with the institution of something like slavery. Women used to not be able to vote. I mean, literally go back into history and look at the insanity and the millions of people that had to die to get to where we are in 2020. And then now look how we're literally, we were here really bad. We started making progress. We get down to here where we have like the most rights to less oppression. And now we're going back up to more oppression in the name of safety. As Franklin said though, if you give up essential liberty, even a little bit, for temporary safety in any kind, you deserve neither safety nor liberty. He said that, you know, what back in the 1800s because he knew how much of a slippery slope it was. I don't know what the answer is. I mean, I'm encouraging people to, to share, to talk to other people. And like, obviously I'm putting content out there and trying to wake people up and do all these things, but I still feel like a lot of it's in vain. You know, I'm gonna keep doing it, of course, and I'm gonna still keep encouraging people to do it. But, you know, it's like even with the nutrition and, and talking about meat, being actually good for you and things like that. It is basically an uphill battle forever, but I do think we can maybe save enough people and maybe that'll be enough. I don't know. You can go on my YouTube channel, Ancestral Mind. You can find videos about the carnivore diet. I've been talking about that a lot lately. I have people that have gone on there that have, have lost 50 pounds, 70 pounds, things like this. And I'm not saying I'm responsible. I'm saying they took recommendations from maybe from me, from other people in the community, and they've self-experimented. And they've done things that their doctors, that the pharmaceutical companies, that nobody's been able to do for them. But will they get published in a research paper? No. Will they get media coverage? No. And what's been causing me stress in 2020, because at first it didn't bother me. I was like, oh, I'll just be productive. And then it got crazier and crazier and it's still getting crazier. It's getting crazier as the death rate comes down. And this thing at this point is not even more lethal than the seasonal flu. I can show you charts of all the other things that kill people. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. I mean, just keep, keep fighting, I guess. I don't know. <laughs>
I, I honestly don't know. I thought maybe towards the end of this video, I'd have, you know, a call to action, a solution. I mean, get your passport. That's what I've been telling everybody. Get your passport because if it goes really wonky, you know, you can leave, go somewhere else. You know, there'll be a lot of other countries doing the same wonky stuff. So you have to really pick maybe potentially some of the smaller company or uh, countries. That's it. I, that's, that's it.